see this edit uh, hmm. this yeah. is a code pad hmm. okay so uh, click on uh, we have two buttons one uh, on the left side run button and one each right side clear button hmm. yes so click on clear button cool and click on run button so see uh, this is how we can run our programs we, we will write programs here and we will run and now you can clear also this output cool okay so that creates the output controller right and uh, okay cool so uh, we have uh, like uh, in java in java or c uh, like uh, we, uh, we have information in uh, like we have information or data in terms of uh, integer in terms mm. of number okay mm. make it shorter Num number and in terms of string or words sentences mm. okay and in terms of uh, arguments like true or false mm. Booleans. okay cool so in other languages we have different data types like for mm. int plot all those things but in javascript mm. only we have one data type that is var Mm. We define our uh, data type with var keyword, and okay. whatever we want to enter, we can have like to boolean value also, and we have mm. to define, uh, we have to give a uh, variable name also. Mm. Okay, var name, variable name, mm. and uh, like it is not mandatory uh, to put semicolon at the end of the statement. In JavaScript, okay. it, it is not mandatory. If you, if you want to put, it is better to put, but you can skip also. And oh, and in any kind of things, is it? When you're writing the whole blocks of functions and stuff, you can just keep on writing without semicolons. But you have to give white space, new line space. Acha. Okay. Okay. Cool. Mm. So we can have this uh, string also, like mm. uh, Delhi. We can use mm. string also, like uh, we can have numbers also, mm. like five. So everything we present in with var keyword. So uh, hmm. only one data type is there in JavaScript, which is hmm. var. Okay. Hmm. So right. so uh, how will we print uh, anything on the uh, output is in with console dot hmm. Cool. So var name. Uh, click on run button. Cool. So we can clear this output also.